Born of primitive file sharing clients, a small group of experimental labels in Europe, and the unfortunate name of an early list serve, IDM, or Intelligent Dance Music, was the sound of the future in the early 90s. It was a reaction to the rave scene and a reflection of a new computer age, helping turn the word glitch into both sound and philosophy. Here are the 10 best IDM albums. Meet the definitive compilation that introduced audiences to what was then called electronic listening music. The British label Warp was key in molding the sounds of IDM, and this comp blended heady flip-outs with club-ready tunes. The first track on Tom Jenkinson's EP has about four tempos going at once. Sure, it's a drum and bass album, but the way Jenkinson smears jazz, techno, and jungle together sends his music off into a category of its own. Autecker's music is like a body made up of a thousand joints, all bending and beating against each other at once. On LP5, Sean Booth and Rob Brown made it move like a horrifying ballet, doused in acid, dizzying and always fascinating. On the other side of IDM's peak, composer Jan Jelinek created this soft, humming world. Infinitely layered and surprisingly emotional, Jelinek's music sounds like it's coming from a silk mattress inside the hard drive. Kieran Hebden's third LP was made entirely of samples that juxtaposed the digital with the analog. Old ambient textures were placed next to bass-driven Afrofunk, turning familiar sounds inside out. Sure, it's the best electronic album that features a sample of Leslie Nielsen, but it's also a painstakingly assembled masterpiece with down-tempo beats, deep melancholy, and a vast amount of otherworldly sounds. That iconic, impish, and insane smile on the cover. Everything there is to glean about this album, from its dizzying tempos, hyperactive turns, and abrasive breakbeats, is in his Cheshire grin. That's the mad genius of Aphex Twin. And speaking of covers, the understated brown art on Autecker's third LP hid the album's groundbreaking sound from record buyers. Bit-crushed synths mixed with warm arpeggios, and the mini clangs and twitches are always couched in some inviting melody. Boards of Canada's sophomore album slouches into the past, creating a chilled-out meditation for the child within. It's an album of immense returns, alive with melodies and textures to examine each time you hit play. Inspired by his early dreams as a kid, James's ambient techno creates some of the most unique feelings ever put on a record. Serene but haunting, rough but seamless, primitive but futuristic. Aphex Twin is a mischievous seer, and this was his crystal ball. Mm -hmm. 